Yo dogs, what's happening? TJ here from the shop Vancouver. We got a couple of days left in our leather pant pre-order and I'm gonna address one of the most common questions I get asked or common messages I get sent. Uh, it always starts off with, hey, I wear a 32, 34, I have a true waist of 31 or whatever, and what size pants should I wear? This will relate to the leather pants, but also any of the other jeans that we have. This question doesn't really help me because every single person is measuring their waist at a different spot. Some people measure their waist like at the top of their femur, depending on how modern your jeans are. Some of the modern jeans have a really low rise, which is from the bar tack here to the top of your, your belt or your uh, top of your pant line, waistline, whatever. And um, so if you've got a really low rise and you're wearing your jeans low, if you're measuring around the top of your femur or maybe you're measuring around the top of your waist or measure, measuring maybe just above your waist, all those measurements are gonna be completely different. And one person might measure here, one person might measure here, one person might measure anywhere in between. And so when you email me and go, I'm a true 32 waist, it really doesn't help me to guide you towards a pant. What you need to do is take your pants, follow our fit guide of how to measure your jeans, i.e. measure your waist flat like this, measure your front rise, measure your rear rise, and then compare those measurements from your pants to the charts on the website. To kind of illustrate, I'm gonna to try to illustrate how rise works. For example, I'm wearing a 1955 jean which has about a 12 inch rise, which is from bar tack to the top of my waist. I typically wear my jeans, you know, right around the top of my hip bone. So I'm gonna mark them. So if this is where my 1955 sit, I'm gonna show you how our leather pants sit on those, which have about a 10 and a half inch rise. So give me a second, we'll swap this out. And there you can see it. So these have about a 10 and a half inch rise, and you can see they're about an inch and a half lower. Let's exactly measure it. They are an inch and a half lower. So that gives you an idea of how rise works. Depending on where your jeans sit on your body, you might have, like my 1955s, a 20, I, I didn't measure them, 25 and a half inch or whatever, 32 and a half inch waist. And then on these ones, they might measure a true 34. Because it's slightly lower, which is closer to my actual femur bone, which you shape out a little bit more. Your waist up here, typically, depending on your body type, is typically smaller than your hip bones, and your hip bones are typically smaller than your femur bones. So depending on where you're measuring your rise is gonna determine what the waist is you're comparing to the chart. So again, just to kind of reiterate, if you're looking at our chart, measure a pair of jeans, rather than saying, I wear a size 32, because especially if you're wearing like a 19, or not a 19, uh, Levi's 511 with stretch in it that has a low rise and a lot of stretch, I get guys coming in all the time that go, I'm a 32, 34 in my Levi's. I take their Levi's and I measure them flat and they measure a 36. And I'm like, when I put them in real jeans, we're going way up in size and it's, stretch jeans are made stretchy so that everybody from a 30 to 36 can wear them. It's just a cheap way to make jeans fit more people. When you get into good shit, you gotta actually fit to your body, fit to your size, fit to your shape. It's just slower fashion, less disposable. But I'm lost. <laughs> anyway, the point of this whole video is to help you guys understand when I say I need to know your chart compared or your measurements compared to the chart, not just you telling me what size you are. Because I don't know where you're measuring, I don't know your body type, I don't know your body shape, I don't know how you wear jeans. But this will give you an idea of when I say measure your rise and then compare the rise of your jeans you wear to the rise on the chart and you'll see. If you wear a jean that has a 12 inch rise and then you, you see that the chart says it has a 10 and a half inch rise, imagine that it's gonna be an inch and a half lower than where you currently have your jeans and then measure there. A lot of people, if they wear a high rise, they'll typically wear them in the same spot, but it's not possible for me to wear these in the same spot as my 1955s because I got junk in the way. You know what I mean? You guys know. Anyway, 
Pre-order on the pants. It closes tomorrow. If you got any questions, hit me up. We can do all this stuff, but follow the charts, follow our measurement guides, get a good idea of what you're gonna wear, then message me and we can talk about them. Just to note, I did update the product with stretch on these. They've stretched about a quarter inch in the thigh, quarter inch in the knee, quarter inch in the hem, and I got about a half inch to get a true 34 in the waist. So, yeah, that's them. But again, like I say, this is where the 1955 sits with a 12 inch rise. This is where the leather pants sit with a 10 and a half inch rise. So that gives you an idea. Got any questions? Hit me up, 604-229-2134. Bam! Let's fucking get you in some leather pants. Okay, love you guys, have fun, enjoy. I hope you look at my leather pant mark, that is crazy.